Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I will show you how to create new files on GitHub using Postman via the GitHub API. So now let's get started. So I would not go in detail in this page and we just straight away go into how to make it works. Okay, so first uh, you will need to go to your GitHub sign in uh, into your account and next we'll be clicking on the settings so next we'll be scrolling down and looking for this tab right here developer settings and next click on the personal access token you will need to create a new token all right so you just give this one a name i'm going to call this as git hub api token just like that and this is the expiration um, I'm going to set these two no expirations and then this will be um, all of the um, access so um, I'm going to click on this one right here so it will be uh, having full access or full control of the private um, repository access to the commit and deployment public and there are more read and write security event and now click on the generate token okay so next will be uh, you will need to keep this stuff uh, copying that and so next will be creating a new repo and for this one right here it only show you once so when i refresh this page then you can see that there is no option you can uh, click or see the uh, previous one the only option that you have to do is to update the token. So um, if you click on this button, then a new token will be created. All right. So next I'm going to create a new uh, repo and just give this a name. I'm going to call this as GitHub API test and I'll go with the uh, public repo. And right here as um, if I want to have the readme file I'm going to um, yep go with the this one right here so basically there is no file at all right so next what are we going to do um, we can copy the uh, repo name all right just copy that and go to postman right here I have two um, requests so first one here is in uh, put request I call this as create new file and this is the URL of the uh, github right the github api so it will be uh, api.github.com slash the repo and this is the uh, username that you sign in into github and this is the uh, repo name so I can just paste it right here and this is the uh, contents class right here this is the uh, name that we want to give so right now I give this one as test.txt so next what are we going to uh, look at right so it will be this one right here um, the off no off at all for this one and next will be the header we will need to provide the authorization header with the barrier and this is the token that we will need to provide and down here this is the content type application slash json so now i'm going to paste it right here okay so barrier space and this is the token and this is the body so the body uh, what we need to provide and this is the two important uh, information that we need to provide one is message and the other is the content okay so the content here is that we have to provide the content in base64 format okay okay guys so next is to provide the content so what the content would be inside this test.txt so it has to be in this base64 format and now i open up this uh, website base64 and code.org so basically we want to uh, encode the uh, plain text into base64 right so now let's just say hi guys um, down here let's just say welcome back to or welcome to my youtube channel just like that and then i'm going to click on the encode button 
and this is what we have right so just copy the content here in base64 and simply place it here so make sure that this is in the correct format right yep so double quote around it and now I can simply click on the send button make sure you put this in the uh, put request now click on the send button and here you can see we get the uh, 201 it's created right so here we have the uh, file name this is the path and there are more information down here so now let's just go back to the uh, the repo and now let's just refresh this page and here you can see we have this uh, file created it's called test.txt inside this github api test uh, repo and this is the content you can see we have the hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and yep that's how we create a new file using github api okay so what am i going to show you next is to um, basically want to update the content of this file right here okay so how to update it let's just uh, quickly go back to this page right here so instead of saying hi guys um, right here i can just say github api file creation tutorial right so this is the new content and click on the encode button then we get a new information just copy that and going back and simply paste it inside the content and now what happened when i click on this send button and let's take a look you can see that it says invalid because we will need to provide the SAR so what is SAR it's right here so um, this is simply um, let's just try to let's just copy the um, repo name and paste it here and for this one right here make sure that in off you will need to select basic off and sign in as a normal user right and in this one here this is just a get request and simply click on the send button and you can now see that this is the star basically we will need to get this one so this star here it's indicate that this is the latex change on the uh, test.txt right so just copy this one right here right so this will be star and just paste it here okay and now what happened when i click on the send button again and as you can see this has been updated right so um, before i change this title here let's just quickly go back and refresh this one and see if the content is changed yep here it is we have github api file creation tutorial instead of hi guys right okay so um, this is the SAR and what happened when I go back and simply click on this uh, send button again will this SAR is the same one or it will be a new one so when I click you can now see it is a new one so what this one is indicating it's indicating that um, this is basically the uh, latex change it will pick up this uh, latex change right so this is the basically the SAR okay um, I can now change this to update file content right so make sure if you want to create a new file then you don't need to supply or provide the file right here right just simply this two then it would just work fine so just to make sure i can just go with this one right here say uh, test one dot txt then clicking on the send button then this new file is created okay so right here you can see I can click on that then this is the content i can also click on the uh, raw here as well just to see the uh, url in case that you will need to use this uh, url okay so this is the raw content and yep that's uh, how we create a new file and also update the content of the existing file as well and if you want to uh, keep all of the existing uh, files then simply you just need to change the uh, title right here right so it's just test to and also in this tutorial i only show you uh, in txt file and you can also try with uh, .json, .yaml, and some other files as well
I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and see you guys in the next video.